In this lesson, I define software-defined networking and describe how it works at a very high level. You can download the script for this video from above or at the end of the video. Software-defined networking, or SDN, is a way to centrally manage routers, switches, and other network management devices that control where, how, and when to allow specific traffic. SDN solutions use software and controllers to make a centralized change, which is then automatically applied to all relevant devices. This includes both virtual and hardware devices. SDN provides significant advantages to security. First, changes are quickly made because the security or network engineer doesn't need to visit each device needing a change. This is especially helpful during an incident or after identifying changes needed to protect against zero-day attacks. In addition, SDN enables better configuration consistency. Changes are made where needed, and, and the SDN portal can help inspect what we expect. So let's take a high-level look at how this works. In this example, an SDN solution divides the normally single network layer into an application layer, a control layer, and a data layer. Again, this is a very high-level look that does not accurately represent specific vendor solutions. A threat actor has compromised the device connected to one of the switches with a worm. The network engineer needs to quickly isolate the threat. The application layer is the portal through which an engineer manages switch configurations. These switches support OpenFlow, an SDN standard protocol. The engineer has a predefined configuration he uses to reconfigure the switches to block traffic from the affected network segment. Changes made in the portal are communicated to the controller. The controller makes the needed changes to the relevant switches. This is done very quickly. This provides an immediate safeguard against an attack in progress. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please ask. And until next time, be careful what you click.